This has got to be the biggest update for a map that we've ever gotten. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to new mods, baby. They are back and we're going to check them all out. We got three mods for you today. First in front of you, we have really the only new mod that we've got today. This is the FS13 Chicken Husbandry. It's pretty cheap and it holds 500 chickens. As well over here, we have something new for console players. This has been on PC for a little while now. The Pottinger Novacat A10 Crossflow. This is a 10 meter mower. You can extend it out just a little bit. It's really cool. Plus, we've got an update to RDC FS19. Let's check it out. First mod that we've got for you today is the FS13 Chicken Husbandry. Now it says Chicken Husbandry was designed with the Farming Simulator 13 style in mind. And it has a capacity of 500 chickens. It's very cheap as well. I'll show you just a second. It already has a changelog, which is quite interesting. It says changelog 1.0.0.1, ready for seasons. But this is a new mod, so that's kind of confusing. Nonetheless, if you guys are on PC, this will work well with seasons. It'll play good. If you guys are wanting to buy the chickens, come into this area right here. Again, 500 chickens total, which is a lot, especially for how much it costs. Let's confirm that so you can check them out in there. Where are you going to find this? You're going to find this in placeables, animal pens, and it's actually not going to be called FS13 Chicken Husbandry. It's going to be called Large Chicken Coop. And it's 45 grand. Yup. Give you an example of some things around here. So this holds six chickens and is $900. So it's, it's a little bit up there in cost per chicken. We also have the Chicken Stable with Feed Silo. This was the first chicken mod that came out. 234 grand. And it only holds 495. This... Again, 45,500 chickens. That's cool. Now, let's see, what is this one? This one holds 122,000. You get the idea. This is cheap. This is very, very cheap. It's going to cost you $40 a day to run. And if you're wanting to feed your chickens, well, there's one easy way to do that. Pull up here. I've got a uh, trailer of wheat right here. Let's pull right here and dump it out. There we go. They've got their food. Works perfect. If you're curious where the eggs are going to come out, those are going to come out on the far left right here is where the eggs drop. You can use the egg baskets for this or the egg crates. Those will work perfectly fine. Next up, we have an update to the Pottinger Novacat A10 Crossflow. Now, this mod right here in particular, I don't ever remember seeing this. I don't remember testing this. I don't remember doing anything with this mod right here. And someone had told me that it was in the mod contest that we had. However, I can't find it in that folder either. So I don't know where this came from, but it says we've got an update for it. So hey, we've got it right here. The A10 Crossflow. This is very cool because it has folders right here. You can see right there. We can either open them or close them on each side. Now it's not done individually. It's done all at once, but it gives you the option open, close, left, or right. And if you close it, it will send in a center swath. Now you can also move these out. You can see this one right here. There's nothing right there in the center. However, here, this is boomed out. You can see the hydraulics right there. So that means we get a little bit extra reach, not too much, but you can see this right here. That's where that bolt is. Maybe about an extra foot, something like that. So you get almost an extra two feet of clearance right there. Let's hop in and we'll show you exactly what's going on. So course we can raise and lower all is good there now you saw that left part come in so I'm gonna change the swath mode so now we've got left swath now open that up now it's open completely and now it's closed I'm doing that with R1 and pushing down on the left stick or if you're on Xbox RB let's say L1 R1 there we go and of course we can open the right side or the left side or both just like that so you can if you press it fast enough you can make it do a little dance <laughs> if you're wanting to extend out one side or the other you need to make sure it's down first and then go out and out again that can be done if you press in r1 and control the right one with the right stick or push in l1 and use the right stick to control that as well which is very cool i'm loving that Let's see, bring that up. 
bring it down works well how's that let's check it out i want to see if there's a difference between the swathing when it's wide like this or when we bring it in narrow here we've got a voucher set up now this right here this front mower this is a modded version right here this is one of the modded versions where it will swath it all kind of towards the center so we're going to do exactly that i'm going to bring that swath in and I'm going to make sure back here the swath is closed. Yes, it is. And it is set on narrow. So you can see everything has been brought in. Good. So let's turn this guy on. Let's turn all the mowers on, including the front one. Bring that down. And we're just going to go forwards. That's it. Just going to go forwards. Now, this is fully... Uh, fertilized everything is good with this this is the most amount of grass we could possibly get for this area do keep in mind 10 meter swath right here it's a massive swath but it's looking good everything is all right so you can see the swath is pretty tight on itself right there here we go turn the front mowers off and turn the back mowers off perfect so that's a nice good size swath I would say let's go through here and let's take the outside and let's bring it out and let's do the exact same thing with the left side bring that out right there there you go perfect now we're gonna do the exact same test again but we're gonna see if that swath is any wider let's boom out and you can already tell the swath is just a little bit wider not crazy though not a whole lot different there but it does have a much farther reach. Now, obviously, I'm not reaching very far on the left side, but on that right side, that is reaching out much, much farther. Again, the swath is a little bit bigger, but nonetheless, works perfectly fine. There you go. All right, let's raise that up and pull forward and turn those off. Now, again, there are a couple other swathing modes, and if you're curious on what those look like, we're going to test those out now. I'm not going to turn on... Actually, you know what? We really should turn on the front mower. There we go. We'll turn the front mower off. And for the back mowers, we're going to open up the right side just so you can see what that looks like. Turn it on. So you get a nice swath in on the left side. And on the right side, leaves it completely open. Now, there are a couple times you would want to do this. I don't know when those times are because I would never do this. But nonetheless. Now, can you change swathing mode while it's on? Absolutely. You don't have to worry about stopping it. You can change the swathing mode perfectly fine. And what if we open both sides together? Well, then it just opens up the entire thing. There you go. There is the Pottinger Novacat A10 Crossflow. And finally, today we have an update for RDC FS19. Now, there are a lot of changes, so I'm going to do my best to go through all of them with you. There's, was it 5, 10, 15, 20... Get, there's like 25 to 30 changes so sit back relax and let's talk about it so version 1.1 added a couple of textures in the main farm and in the village updated the pda changed the bunker and added new bunkers to the main farm removed the mods bunker of modified giants for silage alfalfa small change in the point of sale of the nursery Increased the price of transporting animals to the stables. Added information in the factories and modification of it. Added and restructured the amber lights of the tunnel. Added icons to the orchard and fields to move quickly. Added sale of poplar bells in the Serraria. Rebuilt and reviewed several objects for better visualization. Now you can buy or sell animal stables, which is very cool. Restructuring of the mods in the store categories. Restructured alfalfa and rye crops, changed the grass and shrubs of the entire main farm, and several purchased lands to modify to your liking. Modified grass and grass original crop color and increased forage production. Fixed the connection with the mod shovel stole, arrangements in animal feed and changes. Fixed small error that made the pig sty locked and instable and small modification. Fix the error that made it not seen in the harvesters and unloading of the grain of the new crops in the hopper. Retouch the sound of storm and real rain of the owl and the howl of the wolf. Keep the cattle well at night. Ooh, creepy. 
We also have full foods and salt can no longer be thrown to the ground except for the chicken feed. Refining the liters per second, now one liter per second when recharging the vehicles in the fuel tank. Some land of purchase has been enlarged to land of purchased added. Now in the water of the reservoir and the rivers, you do not sink. It seems that you swim. Touching in the rest of the map and prices repair in particles. So there you go. Some of that was not written well, but it is what it is. I'm reading what is written. Uh, also, there is new content, but it's a surprise. No one knows what it is. So stay tuned, not only to our channel, but probably Mr. Silly P's channel as well, because if anybody's going to find it, he will. I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description if you want to check him out. And attention, it is not compatible with seasons. So do keep that in mind. This is not compatible with seasons at all. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you've got any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. Let me know which one of these mods today is your favorite. And if the one you're looking forward to hasn't been released yet, let me know what it is down in the comment section below. With all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.